I know a lot of you guys are confused on 1010 virus recently. You know what? Let me show you her power. It's so cold outside. What up Snow Squid, it's your boy Snow and welcome back for another video here on the All-Star Tower Defense and say hi to my 10 10 10 10 and of course Namite, okay this time I'm not gonna forget your name Namite, okay please do not be mad <laughs> if you actually didn't watch my video like the previous video before this video well Namite was really raging mad <laughs> anyway guys before we get started let me just say thank you to all of you especially who are subscribed on our channel Channel because we just hit almost actually oh, already over 120k subs and that is really 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 awesome okay i mean i'm not gonna ask you to subscribe to our channel but of course if you would like to join our snow squad the color red subscribe button will always be there and of course if you want to be lucky and getting the waifus here on asdd what are you waiting for freeze that thumbs up button right but anyway guys let's now just go straight to the infinite mode and i'll show you the power of 10 10 10 10 okay we're now back again here on our village the snow village and Basically, guys, we're not going to do anything on the first six waves, okay? It's only going to be wave number seven where we are going to place uh, probably Gojo or even Ten Ten. But for now, we're just going to place our Bull Mama. And yeah, I'm just going to fast forward it, guys, to up until maybe wave number seven, yeah, when I place my unit. And yep, I'll be right back. By the way, guys, just ignore all of these decelerates from early waves because, well, they're not going to be enough to beat us anyway. As you guys can see here, the total HP of our base will be 400 plus, so you don't really need to worry about it, but yeah. Later guys, you are going to see the real secret power of the legendary 10 10 10 10. Okay, it's not gonna be wave number 7 here guys, so as I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna place our Gojo now. And I think I'm just gonna upgrade. You know what? I'm, I need to max out our Gojo here because we now only got like <laughs> 152 HP for our base and Gojo can barely kill all of these mobs. So, oh my God, come on Gojo, there you go. Nice. Later on, I will probably back him up with our 1010, but I just do not want to use our 1010's power right now because that would be really a waste. I mean, she's already too OP, right? So, okay, let me just upgrade our Gojo again. Nice. So he will now be a semi-AOE. Okay, wave number 13 guys and I think I'm gonna max out our Gojo just to make sure because there's like a cloner here in front of him so just want to make sure that we're not gonna take any more damage and it's so noisy outside what the heck all right there you go time stop nice so <laughs> we are barely clinging here three six okay we still need like one more bull mama and I think that wave 14 we're gonna have like a max out bull mama farm that's what all we need okay there you go guys wave number 14 and we now got a maxed out bull mama farm so i'm just gonna place a tent tent here beside our gojo so that our gojo would not be sad and i'm gonna start placing our irwins here and another irwin here and i think guys that if you actually watch my 50 level 59 strat you should already know what's gonna happen here as long as our Gojo and also Tenten would be able to defend our base, then we should not really worry about anything. Okay, wave number 16 now, and ooh, come on, do not give me that lag. I just pop our Shinzo Sagio, and bam. 
Easy peasy, 20 million damage. Let's go. We're now almost at wave number 20 guys and as you guys can see obviously we are still not having any problem here there you go wave number 19 and we now got 25 million damage only by placing one 10 10 guys <laughs> that is really op imagine if we are actually place our 10 10s here with the buff bro that would be really broken that would really be broken guys Okay, wave number 25 now guys and we are now going to place our 10 tens uh maybe later yeah maybe later let me just try to wait some of the other units here and there you go just want to make sure that i would not mess my buff up and bam there you go all right wave number 25 and we now have almost 40 million damage so it's now about time for us to place our 10 tens here there you go Make sure guys that you are not going to mix your 10 tens. Like if it's going to be the four star um, 10 tens, then only put the four star 10 tens beside each other. Okay. So just like what you guys can see right now, I'm just placing all of our 10 tens here, but three star version or actually um, three star version of 10 tens here and four star version of 10 tens here and my left side, right side. Okay. I actually messed up with my buff. So I think I need to reset that but that's okay we will be able to survive this we don't even have like a hill unit but who cares about hill unit if you got legendary 10 10 10 10 <laughs> oh boy the reason why i place our 10 10s here at the back because i just do not want to be really greedy on damage guys you know like if i'm going to place our 10 10s with Irwin's buff then bro that would be really broken and it might even be the reason why we will get disconnected so just want to make sure that the game would be able to calculate every single damage that we're going to do here but <laughs> so far so good guys so far so good All right, wave number 28, and we now have 50 million damage. By the way, guys, let me just remind you that this video is only a showcase of how 1010 10 is really powerful and not about the highest possible solo. Because, of course, if it's going to be the highest possible solo, that would be really stressful to create, not going to like. Because you know what you will need to do to reach wave 50. I think wave 56 is the poss highest possible wave for solo. But the thing is, it's going to be really troublesome because... What are you gonna need to do in game guys is first of all you need to keep your Irwin's buff and at the same time if needed you have to use your light yagami and most importantly you need to use um some time stopper like dio jotaro or even gojo so yeah imagine imagine that guys that would be really a lot in your table and this is also the reason why i did not want it to create a video like that because that would definitely take a lot of um takes you know? pretty much there will be some mistakes that will be made and yeah, it is not something that I think worth my time as well because, you know, like it doesn't really matter. Even if you will reach wave 56 solo, it's not going to get you to the leaderboard. And at the same time, the damage would be almost the same. All right, wave number 31 now, guys, and we have 64.2 million damage. Almost a three-fourth of 100 million damage, guys. And keep in mind, guys, that we do not even have an anti-air unit. That's the reason why we got Light Yagami here, because obviously, guys, even though Ten Ten is really, really good, Ten Ten is a ground unit. Okay, that's the reason why. But 
I'm gonna max out our 1010 after this buff. Just wanna make sure that I'm not gonna mess up our buff, but there you go. Oh, why did I sell that? Oh, come on. I'm just gonna upgrade her. Max. Okay, so if you're already on more than way 30 guys, you now have to max out your 1010s. Because it will be needed, otherwise your damage would not be enough. Okay, some of the air troops are now here approaching our base. So let's now do this. There you go. All right, 68.8 million damage now, guys. By the way, guys, do not forget to give me some hashtag 1010 is God. Not good, all right? 1010 is not good. All right, you have to remove one of the letter O's on good because 1010 is God. And that's the reason why I'm also showing this video because this is gonna be the living proof of 1010's superb and transcendent damage guys so <laughs> but anyway i just want to make sure that i'm not gonna mess up my Irwin's buff but so far so good all right i'm just trying to max out all of our tentens here there you go by the way guys who like tenten in naruto i think tenten is underrated even on naruto itself because yeah I, I barely see her not gonna lie <laughs> But I'm so happy that the developers created Tenten here. Really, really OP and unbelievably OP, to be honest. Okay, there you go, guys. We now reach the boundary of 70 million damage with only using pretty much four, actually five units. Because we do have Gojo, but we only got like a level one Gojo. And we only put like literally one Gojo. So <laughs> even though we maxed him out, just max him out for his uh, time stop ability, that's all. Just want to make sure that all of our tensions are now maxed out. Yeah, I think they are. Like hey, this is looking good, guys. This is looking good. Oh no, oh no. You guys can already see what's happening. I knew it. This is gonna happen. Uh, this is just the downside of using Tenten, guys. Because for some reason, because of our power, Oh, bro, this is so laggy. Peeps are teleporting. Come on, Tenten, do not be that OP. Okay, this is so bad. This is really bad. Dude! Okay, I have to use Light Yagami because I, I'm not even sure, guys, where the mobs are. Because they are teleporting, so <laughs> that is a very big waste. But that's okay. But yeah, it's also good that it happened so that you guys can also be aware of that. That's the downside of having a very powerful unit on your roster, guys. And I'm really sorry if you guys can hear my dog. Why do I even have a dog? Like, <laughs> Oh, come on. All right, wave number 40 now, and we now almost got 80 million damage. So not looking bad, right? Not really looking bad. And I think that you already have seen some of our challenges that we hit like wave 50. And our damage were only like, um, I think 20 to 30 million only. But now with our 10 tens, our damage is now almost over 80 million. And I think it's gonna be possible for us guys to reach 100 million damage, even though we barely use our units. Like, <laughs> I'm not sure, probably I'm gonna place, oh yeah. Probably I'm gonna place uh, some of our Gojo here, yeah. I'm gonna place our Gojo because, I mean, besides, Gojo would not be able to kill them anyway. Okay, there you go, guys. 86.1 million damage on wave number 42. We are definitely looking good here, guys. I'm just gonna place uh, our Gojo here. Keep in mind that our Gojo is only level 1, so it's not like he's really carrying us, you know, like... We just need his um, time stop ability, and that's all. I mean, he attacks every seven seconds, so that should not really be an issue, right? Okay, we now need to be serious, guys. This is now wave number 43, so... Okay, there you go guys, 98.1 million damage on wave number 44, let's freaking go, legendary 1010, not even buffed, not even buffed guys, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs>
Oh no. Oh no, Tenten's power is on display again. Tenten's power is on display again. Come on, Tenten. Do not make me disconnect. Do not make me disconnect. Okay, I'm gonna pop it really early, guys. Dude, that is the downside of having Tenten on your roster. But the good thing here, guys, is we just crossed the 100 million damage mark without Mihawk, without Minato. <laughs> Minato, Mihawk, OP. Come on now. That's gonna be a joke. Okay, I, I am now lagging so bad. Okay, we are now on 110 damage. That's good, that's good. Oh no! Ah, oh, okay. One passed. Oh, that's a big oof. Yeah, it's just because of 1010's lag, guys. Haters would say that it is fake, but you know what? I'm just gonna enjoy my damage task here. You already can see it, guys. Just a little bit shy on hitting 3 billion damage, guys. Over 2.8 billion. So, yeah, I'm just gonna enjoy my gems here. But that is the real power of 1010, guys. But anyway, that's gonna be pretty much it for this video. 100 million damage is still 100 million damage and we didn't even use some of the most OP units here because why would we? We already got the legendary Tenten. Anyway, that's gonna be pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys again on the next one. Stay cold! Peace! Out!